Argentina chasing their first ever title in Dubai. South Africa looking for their fifth straight here in the desert. Let's find ourselves a champion. Underway in the cup final off the boot of Pellandini. South Africa take it clean. It was David who took it and then got clipped high and it's a penalty early for South Africa. Exactly what Argentina don't want to do, that don't want to give these penalties away. See South Africa, they'll go to the set piece line out. So efficient in this area. Have to make sure it's out though. It hits the deck hard and runs deep, but won't find touch. Argentina from inside their own 22. Come cross field and it's another thumping run from Gonzalez. Quickly away from Osadzuk. Mineta, one of the most dangerous players on the field, takes his side into the blitz box half. Oh, that's good defense from Nokia. And here it is for South Nokia Africa. Wiggins. Here's the penalty. Now the quick tap and go from Fun Bite looking to ignite runners across to the left. Fissa floats one wide for Ushazen. Two Pumas jerseys there, ready to put him down. Nokia. Davids looks towards Zane Davids. Won't connect this time around after the good tackle there from Schultz. Nokia penalty. Again and off it. Back-to-back -back penalties here for South Africa, and this time round they just slow the tempo. Before. Three penalties given away in a minute. 30 for Argentina. They have to rein this in. The discipline, or well, ill-discipline, will cost them at some stage. This is where they're so effective. South Africa, Hadil is lethal in these positions. Davids lining up his runner. The first is Ushosen. Put down by Schultz. Fisser throws it up headed. He rips the pass back to Davids. Filthy feet there from Davids. Creates some space for Fisser. Who reaches out and scores. A touch of genius in tight from Davids. And it gives Fisser the chance to put his team in front. Well, they were never going to go to the open side. They went once to the middle. Drew over to the fence, and then there it is. There's the mismatch. There's the fancy footwork, and there's the power. Well, MV Vissa, outstanding start from the Blitzbocker. Very controlled, very precise. Sorry? Dylan Davids lands it beautifully and it's taken sweetly as well by Argentina Gonzalez their midfield battering round this time around the penalty goes the way of Argentina and they'll take the chance just to slow it up I like that shot from Hadild I think it was came in and absolutely smoked Gonzalez who was slow to get up just setting the marker early not out oh, it's Davids back Taps it in field cleverly. Both sides missing the chance to send it long to touch from penalties. Heddled finds Zane Davids. Ustazen sends it away quickly. Now they work it beautifully through the line. Oh, that was a pure pass to a flying Shilton from fake. And they make it a comfortable lead early on. The ruck speed is just too quick at the moment. But look at this ball, sets it up, draws in a defender. Oh, and the timing is absolutely brilliant of the pass and the run for Van Vijk. Oh, the hand goes up from David, and he knows that is money. was the player of the final here last year was that man.
He scorched the turf. And it's now South Africa leading by 14. And it's the ill discipline of Argentina putting themselves under pressure. The penalty's given away. The missed touches. Can't do that in a cup final. Yeah, yeah. You have it. Time on. 12. Brian Havana. World Rugby Hall of Famer inducted off the back of the Springboks World Cup win last month. Backwards by the white. Watching on nervously, up by 14. I hate to see him down by the same margin. So here it is, Argentina in possession. I have to go back through it. Schultz, who does a good job to reel it in and then set up play midfield. 40 from their own line, there's Mare. South Africa continue to swarm in defence. It's ugly. First. The double knock on South Africa will feed the scrum. What South Africa are doing at the moment is bullying the bully. And Argentina are starting to rush things, starting to push it just a little bit. Herman Schultz, the pass is way too hard to him. Didn't need to be because of the physicality in the contact and tackle in particular. Argentina having to play short and they are aiming up. Crowd. Well, this is a nightmare proposition Bind. if you're Los Pumas. Set play. Set. You've got Davids, Van Dijk, Herald. Who's that? Rosto, Speckman, Farsa, KT for the that impact, snuck on. But after we need to stay square and up, okay? okay. I think it might be. Time on. Crouch. Bind. Set. Here we go, from Vite, goes Herald, and they wrap around the corner, space out wide, for that man, Speckman, and what's ripped away in contact and here with Argentina, the defence in the end, from the underdogs, shoots down by Zane Davids, hi, hi, I think Fisser on the inside there, creeping up around the shoulders, and Jeremy Rosier blows it up immediately. It wasn't for the actual tackle from Davids, it was just going high on Schultz again. The physicality showing through, nearly pulled off though. A nice set piece placed, very much on the line. On the hill, inside, win. Two meters. Pellandini floating one to the back, taken nicely down for Schultz. Pellandini finds a run in midfield in Mare, who gets away from the first up tackle of Herald. Can they create something here right on half time? Argentina. Been starved of possession, they've been starved of field position as well. Geez, Justin Herald is getting in and taking names in defence. Takes another piece of another Argentinian run up. Gonzalez. Gonzalez strong in the tackle, just rumbling over the top of one, two. Eventually scrag to the deck. Pellandini cutting crossfield, looking to the hook up. Advantage take her away. Penny advantage here for Argentina. Falls unfavorably. Take her away. And we'll play the penalty. South Africa not rolling away. These are brutal, brutal at the moment, aren't they? South Africa, their line speed is fantastic. But I like the way they're jamming in on the outside, really pressurizing the attack of Argentina. So just the efficiency. South Africa at the moment really shining through. It's pretty much even. No, I haven't seen the okay, ball you know at all go anywhere near Moneta, the danger man. Crouch. Bind. Set. Tell him, Denny. In the tackle, Speaks it out the back. In the tackle. Moneta. Marcos Moneta. Inviting defenders to come in and try and stop him. It's now toe to head, but... Jimmy Rosier. 
says it was not it forward and he pulls the shutters down on the first half in this cup final where it is South Africa leading Argentina 12 points to nil and closing in on a fifth straight cup title here in the desert Davids, who was so good in that first half, floats one up That's high here, and it's on the fall for Argentina. Alvarez goes over to Pellandini. Oh, through this green wall for the moment, but this will help keep their own half as the penalty is awarded for the late tackle. Don't underestimate this Los Pumas team. They come back, come all the way back in their semi-final against New Zealand to win that one. So by no means are they out. This guy here already scored one try for South Africa. Envy Vizic is showing the scars of war. Okay. GMO. Thanks, Nick, for the advice. I want just to critique Chef if there is a serious foul play on the player here. Please. Yeah, chicken foul play. This could be a big moment. This might be a TMO check now. One of the South Africans on the sideline. Who stays in, I think it is. Might be the player. Dude, just taking him out late. Jeremy, I have a decision. Yes. There's a tackle off the ball. Yes. With the shoulder. It yes. starts on the upper body and then hits onto the head. Okay. Therefore, my recommendation is yellow card. Okay, so yellow card because it's indirect contact with the head. Okay. And it's the player in front of me. It's a charge. It's a charge after the pass. Indirect contact with the, with the head is yellow. So Ryan Ushazen is gone for the next two minutes, seven on six in favour of Argentina. Well, they needed something, didn't they, Shawnee, to get back into this match? And because he's a forward, they're going to go for the scrum. So one of the backs are going to have to aim up here and come in. Time off. Hey, Chayetu, sorry. Number 14, is you 14 white, is you? HIA, please, because no, of the contact. Yes. No, no, it's no. no. is the, is the independent doctor. You have to. Well, there's HIA, please. Yes. Some uncertainty here. Manetta doesn't want to go yeah. off. Whereas you're yeah, saying you have to, to go off at HIA, HIA, but Manetta is one of the best players on the. Oh, it's Pellandini instead, rather. Usually he says Manetta. Changes it up to Pellandini. Manetta on the field. And may not be coming back. The independent doctor has called for the HIA assessment, but there's a pretty handy replacement in the match winner coming on from Argentina, Gaston Revol. Argentinian Ironman. Crouch. Next week we'll run up his 100th tournament in the World Series. Revolt, here he goes. And the line is a beaut as well from Maret, right off Revolt. Here it is. Schultz will straighten. Now he comes to the outside. Gonzalez had Mineta, opted not to use him. Still up here, Mineta. Gonzalez. All energy, all ferocity. Sets it up midfield. For Mineta to sweep round the corner and Argentina are on the board through Matthias Osadzo. Well, the two stars out in the back line heavily involved. Gonzalez and Moneta. I thought Homer Schultz was in initially but decided to go to the right hand side. Moneta gets off his wings and makes himself available. It's a real feature of his game is his work rate. They're two options to sight to go to on such shot. And now we are game on. The contrast of reactions there. Time off. And the conversion is good as well, so it's 12 7 now. Yeah, yeah. 
tactically both coaches the using their team. benches and they need to as well Argentina will probably have one more go at it with a Three, one six, man your miracle advantage it's like Justin Herald is coming off as well as after that time on dumping run through the middle from Marep so he's getting a looking to as well you have the time on the screen Rogol chips it right up the zipper, right up the middle. And it's going to come back for his team as well. Hands now. Gonzalez. Going cross field, that catches a South African hand. It'll go to touch. It'll be Argentina with a line out now. We've got four and a half to play, five the difference. But South Africa back up to their seven. Who's Hazen coming for this line out? I'm sure you want to pressurize it. And get a lift here, Argentina with Moneta. We know he's so adept at that chip and chase, maybe took it a little bit too far to the line. Revolt looking to his captain. It's a former captain to the current. Gonzalez almost getting past Usheisen. Alvarez rips it to Revolt, it's lost forward and it's still alive here as South Africa throw it ahead and the race is on but it'll beat everyone to touch it was David screaming down this left hand side but the bounce was unkind and Argentina will have the line out I'll tell you who was screaming was that guy there right Jews the number 14 Roscoe Speckman come up defensively and just got in the eye line of the Argentinian attacker and calls that knock on that's beautiful work from him 12 white and this always shaped up as just a toe to toe Wait. not one another down so you can stay on their feet eventually through 14 minutes of action in this cup final we hold on, they have the absolutely wild on one another oh it's been enthralling though isn't it? it's one of those games you know it's just going to be an arm wrestle you know it's going to be one in the trenches. Revolt. Gaston Revolt. Not straight. Well, that's not straight. Yes. Oh, that's a massive call. Choice. Gaston Revolt wasn't happy with Jeremy Rosier, but fair enough. Angle on it there shows it. We've seen worse let go this weekend. I'm sure that's what Gaston's thinking. Come on, not the cup final. A couple of inches the wrong side of the center of the line out presenting South Africa now with the scrum. It's David Safid. Kumar sends it away. Convey. Throws it in behind, the bounce is good for South Africa as they bounce off one another. That's Human gets them within five of the line. Surely the try is coming. Who else? Hey! How about Time it off. from Speckman? TMO. Has he launched too far? I think he grounded it in, in goal. Fine um, in, in touching goal, but I just want to check, please. Is it trying yes or no? Yep, chicken trial, no try, Jeremy. Was there too much? power in the launch Speckman oh no what a defensive play though Jeremy I have a decision yes no try the player loses control of the ball forward and touch and goal into touch and goal therefore the restart is a scrum, uh, the restart blue is a scrum. on a five okay the restart is a scrum because he loses the ball before okay something Nearly absolutely Scrum spectacular from Speckman. But Time equally on. so, that defensive work was brilliant. Still under pressure though, Argentina. It's the variations in the kicks for me from South Africa that you have just so Close lethal in Same. games Mike, like this. Binds. Set. It's been that kind of game. Everyone's been sat down at some stage. Revolt 
Coming around, there's Oosthuizen dropping Gonzalez, and they'll kick. So it's a rare one off the boot here from Argentina. They just get their defensive line set as Brown goes back. He's a little electric playmaker that's cut teams apart time and time again this weekend, but that one is too tough for Speckman to bring in and stay in the field of play, and that is a huge result for Argentina. Wow, absolutely wow. I can't believe that. That might be a massive miss for South Africa. Centimetres. In it. Now the last throw from Gaston Revol wasn't straight. Has to nail this one as we get down to the championship round nearly less than a minute. Time on. Revol. That one is A-OK. -okay. That one goes out the back and it's tidied up and brought in here by McCharlie. He loses his feet. In fact, he's lost the ball, so it's back with Argentina. Ushazen goes in and gets a handball of Graziano. Alvarez, revolt under pressure here. Osazu works it across the line. And now Manuta. Runs the kick in behind, and Brown will let it cross the sideline. It's now South Africa's throw, and we've got 30 seconds to go. If they can lock this one down, that should be that. And they're not in a rush to get to this line out either, are uh, South Let's Africa? Go. I just seem to have to throw someone up to compete and try and get a turnover. Let's go, please. One last effort required here from Argentina. They've got to get a man up and get pressure on Usthuizen. They don't compete. And now they rush up in defence. South Africa working that clock. Four seconds to go. They might be one last play. This should be it now. To touch it will go. It's over. South Africa complete the five-peat in Dubai. And they get the nod from a South African rugby legend in Havana. It's history. It's an 11th Cup title in the desert for the Blitzbox. They did it the hard way, but they did it.